pretty bad. Oh, there's handprints in here. Oh, that's so gross. Starbucks does not have a chokehold on me anymore. We just tried the self park for the first time ever and it's like actually parking itself and moving the steering wheel which is so cool hi guys welcome to a little sunday productive vlog i'm not gonna lie it's not early it's like 4 p.m and i'm just about to get my day started but i kind of wanted to make this video as like a little like turning up half your day into like a productive day we spent um our morning at ihop and then we went to like target so i do have a lot of stuff i want to get off my to-do list i want to clean a little bit build a dresser maybe go thrifting if it's still open i don't know i thought it may be a nice idea to showcase that even though you do nothing with half your day you can still make the other half productive if you want and if that's what you like so today is sunday i definitely want to set up my week for success and that is what i'm gonna go do I made this list yesterday of things I wanted to get done this weekend. I've done like three, I started on a couple others, but I need to definitely finish this off my list today. First order of business is to clean this entryway. There's like some boxes, some like little mat. It's not too bad, but it has to be cleaned. So let's do that. If you guys didn't know, I am trying to start to make some coffee recipes at home because I've been buying way too much Starbucks. So I thought, why not start with a simple caramel macchiato? So I ordered some Nespresso pods. I ordered some cute syrup holders from Amazon and then some actual syrup from Monin. So I thought it'd be fun to open it up with you guys. So I got the iced legaro to make some iced coffees. The golden caramel looked pretty good. Hazelnut muffin I bought before and I really like this, so I just rebought that one. And then some sweet vanilla. And then they always include the little free coffee pods. A box within a box. We love it. Oh, I also got this Matsari nuts and bolts toy for my daughter. She loves helping build stuff when we have to build like anything. So I thought this might be like a fun little toy for her. It does say three and up, but I'll obviously be supervising her while we play with this. But I thought it would be fun for her. Ooh. I love that it included little stickers with the names of certain syrups. Okay, so these are the syrup bottles I got. They're made out of glass. So they're like pretty sturdy i would think so and then it comes with these golden little pumps which i thought were so cute and i have black detailed stuff in my home but i kind of wanted to change it up and add some color some pop of like gold so we'll see how it looks and it did bring four so you can fit four different syrups that way you don't have to like juggle between each one and it did bring this little thing i don't know what it's called that way you can pour the syrup without making a mess Last thing I got was this order from Monin, which are the coffee syrups. We've seen all the other people use it, so I just wanted to like try them out. So I got the salted caramel and the vanilla for today's recipe. I'm just gonna make a simple Starbucks iced caramel macchiato copycat. So I'll be using the vanilla and hopefully it comes out delicious. I grabbed my cup of choice and if you guys saw my IKEA vlog, there's something about this cup that I love and it's so nostalgic and I haven't been able to use it like I haven't found something to drink out of it and an iced caramel macchiato sounds like the perfect drink to just drink out of this cup Okay, now I'm gonna brew a little double shot of espresso because the video says that they use double shots. So instead of doing two separate single shots, save some time. Alright guys, 
guys, here we have it. Let's give it a little stir. So far it looks good. So I'm gonna add just a bit more of the syrup so it has that taste test. It's good. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I just feel like it's missing a little bit of like something, but for the most part, it's good. And now that I know how to make this at home, Starbucks does not have a chokehold on me anymore. Mm. Okay, so it's already 4.30 and I have lots of stuff to do, but I just made myself a coffee. So I'm gonna sit down on my computer, um, try to write that one blog post that I have on my to-do list and just get started on that. And then when I finish my coffee, I'll start doing all the other more handsy stuff. All right guys, I just finished my coffee and I almost finished the blog post. I just need to add some pictures, do some revisions, which I'll probably do tonight. So I'm not gonna check it off my to-do list just yet because I wanna make sure like I have the one blog post written, done, edited, and scheduled. So we'll finish that tonight. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and just build this dresser I bought off of Target. I bought it half off and I got it for my daughter because right now she has this ginormous dresser that she only uses two cabinets. The rest is just filled with blankets and like silly stuff that she doesn't use. So the game plan is since I don't have a dresser, we're gonna transfer this to our room, see how it looks, build her dresser, get her clothes in there and then she has more room in her room. We have room for our clothes in our room. And I think it's like a win-win situation. So let's go ahead, stop talking, build the dresser and get that off the to-do list. So I got this for sale. I got it at Target for 15% off. It was originally 140, got it for 70. I told you guys that I always look for a good price. And even though it's not the ideal color, for her room you know what it's the ideal price so guys i'm not gonna lie this thing was so heavy to carry because when i bought this i went to target by myself with my toddler so i like i almost hurt my shoulder <laughs> this was really heavy to like load on the car and i have a truck so i had to like lift it i know people saw me struggling in that parking lot well i hope it's good because if it was half off like, was there something wrong with it? Alright guys. If there's one thing I can't stand in this world, it's the sound of styrofoam. Making, like, rubbing against anything, it just makes me go crazy. I, I hate, hate, hate that sound. Okay, okay. get started and read the instructions because I'm not no man who's afraid to read instructions. This is the first step. It looks, looks a little complicated but we got this. Okay so I went through all the wood panels and there is no letter A. Maybe this is why they returned it because there's no letter A so you don't know where to start and then it just it gets hard. So I'm gonna take a guess and see which one I think is A and then go from there. All right I'm just gonna take the shots. This, this is A. I'm calling this A. It has no label so Looking at the picture, this should be it. Should. I don't think this brought screws. I'm gonna look in the box one more time. All right, well, I figured out why it was half off. Um, it just didn't bring any screws and I've looked in the box. Hi, um, a couple days ago I bought a dresser. Okay, so I either have to go take it for an exchange because the Target does not sell hardware or I can contact the manufacturer, I guess, and that'll take some days. Kind of sad about that, so let's see what else I have to do. Most of it is just cleaning up around the house anyway, tightening up, getting ready for the week.
Okay, so these I try to wash like once a month, but out of sight, out of mind, I totally flipped this over one day when she painted and I forgot about it. So let's let's see how bad it is. It's pretty bad. Oh, there's hand prints in here. Um, but it's like the washable paint because it's for kids. So it'll come off like no problem. Honestly, I don't even remember buying this glass cleaner or like where it came from, but it cleaned the glass really, really well. So I'm gonna be using this like for everything. For the guest uh, bathroom, I already did like a lot of the picking up yesterday. So I just gotta like clean the glass mirror, clean the bathtub where she showers and just like clean up a little here. But I did most of the pick up yesterday. So this will be like a pretty easy check off the to-do list. Today is definitely a chill day because I don't have to cook. I'm eating some leftovers here. So I'm gonna serve me and my little toddler so we can have some dinner and just finish off our little to-do list. So my daughter just went to bed and I thought why not just get some more done. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my makeup brushes. I did collect them and I haven't cleaned them in a long time. I know you're supposed to clean it like once a week, but I just don't wear makeup that often. And then when I do, I use a couple of brushes. So it's definitely time and I have this brush cleaner conditioner that came in one of those ipsy bags when I used to have the subscription and this little brush cleaner thing. So, so let's go ahead and get this makeup and my daughter has been dragging my makeup brushes all throughout the house. So let's clean up anything that just shows up on this brush. it's gonna be bad like i put some soap on it but i think the bristles on this used to be whitish let's let's see the before and after before it's so hard to decide so gross Guys, I knew it. it was supposed to be like a white grayish color and it was so like tan. I can't believe if my face isn't like covered in pimples because that was bad and I'm still not done. So um, I will be doing this more often, especially as I try to get more into makeup and stuff. That was, that was bad. But like on the real though, how often do you guys wash your makeup brushes? Like. Like realistically, how often do you do it? Because I know it's supposed to be like once a week, I think. But I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'm all done and as satisfying as that was, that was disgusting. So I will be brushing my brushes more often. The taste is better. Me like I know what 